Morning, perverts. I have some bad news to report today at the beautiful Coronado Springs Resort. That's not the bad news. I love this resort. It's very big and um, it's not so awesome at 10 o'clock at night when you're trying to find your hotel room and you're frustrated and you're walking around in circles. You're like, where is the elevator? I have a rolly suitcase that can't go upstairs. But when you do find your room, it's great. Overall, A+. Plus voltage tier Mountain Dew Resort. Very good. One of my favorites, for sure. Ah, nice, gloomy Florida day. I seem to always get those. Still have morning voice, because <clears throat> I was snoring real good last night. I had a real good sleep. I digress. The bad news. So I tried Genie Plus at Epcot yesterday. And, you know, everyone's kind of dunking on it, being like, this thing is the worst thing ever, and blah, blah, blah. They're not wrong. Can't seem to find a single good thing to say about it. I guess it could be good if you played your cards right and you're able to get multiple rides with it, like throughout the day. Like I've heard people getting up to like six or seven a day, then that's awesome. I did not have that luck. I got two. Two. So Amanda and I paid. I think it was $19 a person, so plus tax, it was $45. And we rode two rides. Here's the resort. It is massive. There's lots of trails, cigarette spots, convention centers, Coronado Springs. Huge. So we did go to Epcot on a very busy day. It was the start of the Festival of the Arts. And it was also Martin Luther King Day. So it was a busy day. I'll give it that. Like, we probably didn't go on the best day to get the best results. So we're trying again on Wednesday for Magic Kingdom. A lot more rides there, a lot more opportunities to potentially get frustrated and angry looking at my phone all day. And that's the other thing that kind of frustrates me about Genie Plus is the fact that I have to be on my phone all day looking at it and constantly swiping and trying to figure out, okay, maybe I can do this time, I can do that time. The app in general is really clunky and kind of a mess. And trying to find where I'm supposed to make new reservations for rides, it's not exactly easy. I have to feel like, I feel like I'm punching on a bunch of things that look like they're ads within the app. The design of it is just awful. We'll say a nice thing about Universal was, okay, so it was new, and Amanda and I didn't know what we were doing. And a lot of times we just kind of waited in lines and we didn't get to ride everything, but we rode a lot of the things that we wanted to. And we weren't on our phones all day, worrying about where to go next or what to do next, or making sure that we had a certain thing reserved, or, oh, we got to check in here, we got to check in there for a virtual queue. And we were just not on our phones and we were at the theme park having fun looking at things and talking with each other and enjoying each other's company which i feel like that should be a theme park should be a vacation not hunched down like like this pretend my coffee is the phone because i forgot my phone back in the room but doing this look i'm at a theme park and just talking with a lot of families in line they were telling us how much money they were spending just for the tickets and for genie plus and for food and it's a lot of money like almost 300 dollars a person amanda and i just spent 200 dollars a day per person at epcot which is wild i don't think i've ever spent that much money before at a theme park per person just to ride the same rides that we've ridden before and that we never had an issue riding. It was just overwhelming, lackluster, and honestly, I can't find a single good thing to say about Genie Plus. And I am frustrated that I have to buy it again for Magic Kingdom, but there's a couple things that we would like to ride. I feel like we're forced to do a crappy service to enjoy the basic things of Magic Kingdom. Now take this into consideration. This was just my experience. 
this should not deter you from going out and experiencing it for yourself or doing whatever you want. Just don't listen to me. I'm a stupid person on the internet. This is just my opinion and what I experienced. And my experience could be very different from yours. But don't buy Genie Plus, says the man who's about to buy it again. Back at Disney Springs. You wanna go over to Gideon's and see if you get any luck? 36 Gideon's. Where are we? Wow. Every time. Every time. This is becoming a problem. A cookie problem. Wow. How much is that cookie? That's the one I want. This giant one that's bigger than a person. Morning. 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 Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, we're in it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, thank you. What's the main ingredient in cheesecake? Cheese! Cheese! Spend a hundred dollars at Gideon's. What else did my wife get today? Stickers. Gideon stickers. Gideon t shirt. She's like, don't hurt the bag. The bag is also delicate. This is the whole process. This is rare. It's like nobody here at Disney Springs. I've never seen it. It's a Wednesday, that's why. I love it. Everybody's at school. Everybody's at school, everybody's at work, except for us. Oh, it smells good, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that unit. I'll tell you where I don't want to go. I do not want to go into the world of Disney. Oh. Keep an eye out on a Burlington Coat Factory for some of this in the next uh, month. Haunted Mansion Christmas ornaments. This should be free because the public domain has taught me anything. We got an ornament. It's a good one. We don't have a reservation, so what? Hog wild for all of this ridiculous food. So good. Very good servers there too. Back at our resort, I did find some, almost tripped over that, I did find some charge points but I think these guys, you know they cost money because we're at Disney World. Whew. All these are broken too. Jeez. Broken. Other one broken. Take two. 
or three, they're all broken. Okay. Oh my God. The clips are broken, so the car isn't reading any of these. Unable to charge vehicle connection issues. Yeah. to work maybe yeah hey yeah. oh my god we did it maybe the car is no <laughs> well ridiculous that was way harder than it needs to be and this these are not free these cost money it's like 35 cents a kilowatt which is obscene those are like supercharging prices and supercharging gets me done a lot faster than those guys nice oh yes man look at this place A dollar fifty for about thirty five minutes. They shouldn't close the pool if it's raining, right? No. We got here. Is this the hot tub? This is the hot tub. Oh, yeah. Wow, I've never seen this pool this empty.